Hi everybody, this is Sergio Benavides, your immigration lawyer. I'm doing this video to talk about the initial steps of a U visa application. Uh, this is the translated list, English and Spanish, of the crimes that qualify for a U visa. This is taken directly from the USCIS website. On the left, I translated crimes into Spanish. On the right, uh, crimes into English. So if you or someone you know is a victim of one of these crimes and they cooperate with the police and they call the police and help them in any way they need, including testifying and IDing the subject, uh, they might qualify for a U visa. A lot of people hear about U visas um, on TV, on the radio, mass media, but I just wanted to talk about uh, initial steps. So in order to qualify for a U visa, you have to be a victim of one of these qualifying crimes or related crimes is what the list says at the bottom attempt crimes or related crimes and that's why you may want to uh, consult with an experienced lawyer who knows how to do these u visas to see if your crime if it's not on one of the lists that's here that maybe it's a related crime or it's an attempt crime and then you would still qualify um, the other thing i want to say is that uh, direct victims qualify for a u visa but there's also a provision in the law for indirect victims to qualify. Um, so we can talk about that. You make a consultation. What is an indirect victim? But basically, you have to suffer. You have to have been there. Um, and you have to have uh, useful information for the investigation. So the first step, once you've called the police and you helped them, you know, you were mugged and you called and you helped them and you identified the suspect as much as possible um, and you've been traumatized, uh, the first step is to seek a U visa certification. And so uh, our office helps people with that. Uh, it's not always the easiest. You have to process and prepare it carefully. But you submit a request for a U visa certification from either the judge or the district attorney's office or the police that are handling the case, and you send them uh, the certification request. By law in California, Law enforcement has 90 days to review and sign off that you were a cooperating victim and that they believe you qualified. So they have three months to sign that certification and send it back to you or us. Uh, otherwise, it's a violation of law. But now it's a 90 day period for the U visa certification and they send it back to us signed. But if it's not signed, then they have to give an explanation why and tell us, well, what's your reasoning? Why didn't you sign this? And many times, my office, we will revise and redo uh, the U visa certification to fill up any gaps or correct any errors or misunderstandings so that people can then proceed. But you need that signature first from the police, a judge, or the DA before you can even apply for this. Some people in the community uh, hire either a nonprofit or a private attorney for this kind of work and they apply for the certification from police and then uh, they feel like they're being ghosted by their law firm because they don't hear anything. But this is why I wanted you to know that there is a provision for law that gives the police at least three months, or that should be the maximum three months, to review and sign off on that certification. Sometimes they'll take up to even six months, but I don't know that there's any way we can punish them for not following the law uh, and signing off in three months. But I want you to know that it doesn't mean that your law office is no longer caring about you, that they've forgotten you, that they're not trying to help you. It's just that it takes a while to get that signature back. But once you have the certification, then you can apply for the, for the U visa. And when we apply, it, it, uh, it's made up of the U visa application, a waiver of inadmissibility, like things like crimes or deportations or illegal entry into the country. So the U visa, the waiver, and the work permit. And then there's a long waiting period. It could be six or seven years before you get all those benefits. And so people need to be patient and wait. And there isn't anything that we can do to push that process along faster. So patience is really important in this kind of process. But uh, this is the initial steps. Getting that U visa certification from one of these crimes. The first thing the victim should do is go and get a copy of their own police report go through it, go through it with an attorney and see if the crimes listed are one of these qualifying crimes or a related crime. 
so that you can see if it's even worth trying to get a U visa certification. So first it's look at the police report carefully and make sure that you're listed as a victim, you cooperated, and that one of those crimes that are on this list will qualify. Send me a message um, in my link, in my profile, if you want a copy of this PDF and I'll be happy to send it to you. All right, good luck out there. If you like this information, please like, follow, and share. Thank you.